When dealing with 3D, we've got a coordinate system that uses th three directions. And using WebGL, which is what 3GS has um, as its basis, uh, we find that the coordinates are y going upwards, increases going upwards, x increases to the right, and z increases out, out of the screen. That's assuming that the camera is pointing directly down the z-axis. If we put some numbers to this by adding a grid, we can define a point, an individual point, where its position is 5 along the x-axis, 4 up the y-axis, and three along the z-axis. So we can define that point x is 5, y is 4, z is 3. If we introduce two more points, so that's our original point, and now we have a point over here where x is 0, y is 4, and z is 0, and a point over here where x is 5, y is 4, and z is still 0. And we can introduce a triangle defined by those three points, often referred to as vertices. We can take the idea of a single triangle and extend it up. So now we have a cube here where we have eight vertices and we have seemingly six sides to this but each side is going to be two triangles. There will be 12 triangles in total. If we, if we number the vertices v1, v2, v3, v4 etc then we can define a triangle as v1, v2, v3 and the other part of this top face will be v1, v3, v4. In order to create lighting calculations we have something that sticks out of every one of our triangles and often every one of our vertices and this is a normal. A normal allows us to calculate the direction that light's coming in and use this normal to calculate the value that the colour should be for each pixel in our rendered screen. So we get to the ability to be able to create a rotating cube, which we'll look at doing in the next section. If we convert that to wireframe, you can see that the cube is actually made up of triangles. So at its heart, everything we ever render will be a triangle. The rotation of this and the positioning of this is all calculated using matrices, but thankfully you won't have to worry about that level of mathematics when you're using the 3GS library. It makes it much simpler than that.